What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We just sold out 2324 Series 2 Hockey 10 box mixture that features two hobbies, four tins, four blasters, Pikachu number one, guys. And again, the last four teams remaining were 15% off to get it done tonight. And again, we are giving away the Blackhawks, guys, who probably would have been a couple hundred dollars, guys, easily. Chasing Connor Bedard and uh, I believe David Adams has a million dollar bounty on the 101 gold outburst, young gun. So let's try to pull a million dollar card, guys. It's still out there. Now, if you have the two or more teams, you get a chance to win the Blackhawks. Remember, got to get them uh, every two. So two teams gets one entry, four teams two, six teams three, etc. If you only get one team, you will not get entered to win. Remember, no vet common ship out of this. Everything else will. And uh, let's alphabetize and see who has two or more. So, um, yeah, here we go. So Dan, you have six, so that's three entries. Uh, D Mac with two, Fred Williams with two, so that's an entry each. Kev, you have two, that's an entry. And then Michael, I believe you're the only one that got the Bruins, not a second team, so you're not in. But thanks, thanks for still getting. In. Good luck. Nicholas is the one that sold it out. Got the top two teams after pretty much the uh, the Hawks, so got two entries there. Scott with. Six, so that's three entries. And then Tristan got the rest. That's eight, so that's four entries. So out of a possible 14, or six, 15, sorry, we're going to get 15. All right, so there you go. Let's alphabetize it, or sorry, let's randomize it now. One in 15 shot. Roll it. One in a three, four times. Four, one. Two, three, four. Boom! Tristan. One, two, three, four. Four. Played the odds game. There you go. Congratulations, buddy. There you go, man. All right, so now I'm going to bring a case over here. Like I said, they're pretty big cases. This is a blaster case. There's uh, 10 boxes on the top. So this would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and then 10 on the bottom. Let's generate... Four numbers, like I said. I'm only going to do this for this first one. The rest of them is going to grab randomly. At the end of the day, it's all at random. Nine. Fifteen. Thirteen. And eighteen. Okay, those are the ones at the bottom. 15, 13, 18. 15, 13, and 18. All right, there's the four blasters. We'll switch them around here. Boom. I'm put these back in here, and like I said, I'm just going to grab random from now on. Blasters, I believe, only get one young gun per blaster, I believe. And then tins give you, I think, three. Three to four. And then obviously, hobbies give you six. Now I'm going to bring tins over here. And there's also, there's 12 tins in the case. And uh, like I said, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Eight, nine, six. 
eight, nine, six, and eleven. Eight, nine, six, and eleven. Right here. So we got the remaining tins. If you're in a case, then here's the case here for the hobbies. They're in uh, four stacks of three, so one, two, three, four on the left, four, five, six, seven, eight in the middle, nine, ten, eleven, twelve on the right side. So same thing here. Let's uh. Got a new generator here. And this one's only gonna be two numbers. 11 and two. So two would be the second box. Here it is right here. And 11 is gonna be the second to last box. That's nine, 10, 11. Right there. There you go. Boom, boom. All right, there we go. So here are the tins, here are the blasters. And here are the two hobbies to make it a total of 10. And there's everybody's name there. Good luck, Tris, with the Hawks. Let's get a big Bedard. I did one box, guys, as personals. It was so funny, right? We only got, like, two cases in on uh, Wednesday, right? So, IG sold about, like, a case. We basically almost sold the whole case in the store. I think we sold a case of blasters, a case of tins, right? Really big day on Wednesday. But I told Evan and Michael, save me one box to rip, one box to rip. So I want to rip one. And they just left me the last one. Some guy bought it on uh, Fanatics Live. Pulled up a dart. One for one. <laughs> so, my mission was complete on just one box. Now, not only do I want to pull the darts, but I want to pull numbered the darts. Like I said, the bedards started off like around a thousand bucks, guys. They're starting to drop a little bit. They're like at 700 now. Now remember, guys, the guns, I mean, are pretty common in the sense that they make an infinite amount. They make a lot of these guys, but obviously, Bedard is only like one to two in a hobby case. So, you know, like I said, they don't really dish out so many of them. But obviously, one to two in every case. How many cases are being ripped around the world? Around the United States and Canada, probably. So, there's going to be quite a few out there. So, if you were like one of the first ones to post it up on eBay and sell it, you probably got a thousand bucks for them. Maybe even more. But what's going to separate now, guys, is going to be the PSA 10s, the graded cards. So what you're really going to want is to pull one and then grade it, and hopefully it grades a perfect 10 or a 9.5. And that's where I think you'll make some great money. So I, I wouldn't be shocked if these drop to like maybe four or $500 by like next week. Which again, still great though, obviously, for just one card. You know, but what you're really going to want to pull is all the numbered cards, and obviously, like I said, grade them. And that's what's going to separate. I think any like numbered cards are going for crazy amounts, like thousands. Those are the ones obviously you're gonna wanna get. All right, so like I said, blasters only give you one young gun per box. So we're gonna get at least four here. Tins give you three to four, so at least another 12 to 15 maybe. And then obviously hobbies give you six. So we got another 12 there. So we're looking at a pretty decent amount. Pretty much what, like 30? 28 to 30? Crazy too, guys. Blasters, I, I don't even know how much blasters are, but tins of previous years are only like 20 bucks max. Tins are like $110, guys. Isn't that crazy? That's the Bedard effect, though. Hockey's getting a lot of love and recognition right now, and I love it.
right, here we go. So Dylan Larkin. We got Daniel Sprong. Dazzlers, Carter Vigehi, and those aren't really numbered. And then we got Justin Sourdiff. He's a young gun in here for the Panthers. And we got a canvas of Owen Beck. Alright, so there's the first one there, guys. Dazzlers, Patrick Liney. And Nick Sweeney. Young man there for the uh, Minnesota Wild. Luke Phillip, Glossy. UD Canvas, Tivu Teravainen. Actually, this one had two young guns. Hunter Shepard. And how about a little Connor Bedard UD Portraits? There you go. On the board already, Tris, with that little Bedard. Not as much as a regular young gun, but hey, still sells pretty well. All right, so that one had actually had two young guns. Natsuko. Young Guns there for the Columbus Blue Jackets. Alright, last blaster here, guys. Dazzlers, McDavid. And we got Matt Tompkins, Young Gun. For the uh, Tampa Bay Lightning. There's Owen Beck. And then Walker Dewar, Young Gun's canvas there. For the Calgary Flames. Dan with that one. And then Matthew Holt Ross. So two young guns in here. Alright, sweet. So there you go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven young guns out of the possible four. Go to tens now, guys. You got a little bonus pack on the top. I believe those are all just uh, dazzlers. I want to say. Save that for long. those ones for last. I guess. So let's go to the next ten.
Would be cool to get Bedard to sign that 10. one here guys and we got three stacks here Bobby McMahon, Young Guns, UD Canvas. Frazier Minton. For the uh, Maple Leafs. Teaser there. Kevin Korczynski. Because of energy. There's a checklist card. Uh, if we get multiples, we'll just bling those evenly. Not on the left and right. Hugh McGing. Young Guns.
McKee, Samochkev, Clay Stevenson for the Washington Capitals, Mark Andre Fleury there, UD Canvas. Samuel Nazo And there's a Connor Bedard glossy OPG card. We'll take that. Take anything Bedard. And that's going to Tris. Mason Lori for Boston. Alright, two more tens and then we'll go with the two hobby boxes. Alex Leferrier. For my Kings, he's a good player there. Down with that one. Taylor Hall, the Bruins. Bobby McCann. And Pavel Mint Yukov for the Ducks. That's going to Nicholas. There's Logan Cooley for the Yotes going to Fred. Justin Sourdiff for the Panthers. Our last one here, we'll go with the glossy or the uh, dazzler packs and then we'll go with the two hobbies. Damien Giroux. We miss it all. This is another series two checklist. Actually, we'll just go left or right on the series two checklist. This makes it that much easier. Tristan Lanu. For the Ducks, Young Guns. Hunter Shepard for the Capitals. Matthew Kachuk, UD Canvas for the Panthers. And then Zach Benson. I believe this is the top player for them, too. Yep. That's a nice one there. We'll talk about that. And that's for the Sabres. And Nicholas. In 60 games in the uh, WHL, had 36 goals, 62, six, 62 assists for 98 points. 13th overall pick. All right, let's go with some Dazzlers. To Foley Dazzler, Nikushkin, Braden Point. Darling, McKinnon, Evangelista. Sorokin, Forsberg, Dylan Larkin.
And we got nice Dazzlers, Evangelista, McAvoy, and the McDavid. I'm going to sleep with the red one, too. I don't know specifically what colors are, like, super shorter printed than others, but I feel like there has to be a significance. But, uh, see what those ones are. At least. All right. There we go, guys. Two hobby boxes now. So these are six young guns minimum in every box. Alrighty guys, so like I said, we're nearing the end here. And remember guys, obviously, for people that are just buying this, maybe for the hype of Bedard, just remember guys, you know, these cards may not seem anything fancy. Young Guns, you might think, but that's just the staple rookie card in the hobby now. At the end of the, at the end of their careers, guys, if you got like Young Guns of these players and their future Hall of Famers, you got them graded PSA 10s, especially the numbered Young Guns, you're, you're probably making a good amount back. So like I said, for some rookies here too, these definitely do add up after a while. You may think, oh man, this base card, Young Gun, what the hell is this? And you look it up and it probably goes for like $60, $70 a pop. You know, you're like, oh, shoot, okay. So obviously, like I said, just adding up Young Guns does add up. So, you know, don't expect any autographs and patch autographs and stuff like this. This is definitely not the product, you know. But like I said, Young Guns do sell pretty well. And like I said, might not be the biggest player, biggest rookie today because hockey is like kind of like football or kind of like baseball where it's going to take a few years, guys, for some of these guys to develop. There's only quite a few players like McDavid, Bedard, Matthews that, you know, obviously make it to the league as an 18-year-old or 17, 19-year-old. So just remember that, guys. Some of these guys could be really good hockey players in the near future. So they sell extremely well, but they're just not in the league just yet. So definitely always good to hold on to some of these young gun players and just, you know, see where they're at in a few years, honestly. So like I said, the next half, guys, or the next, the next break, there you go. There's the Bedard Leo Carlson young guns checklist. So that's going to be randomized between the Anaheim Ducks and the um, and the uh, Chicago Blackhawks. So this one's obviously worth a lot more than the other ones. We'll go left to right for it as well. Um, but like I said, guys, you know, if we don't pull any crazy Bedards, even if we do pull a Bedard in one of these boxes, you know, just know that we have tins, you know, we have, we have uh, blasters, and obviously it can still be a lot of numbered cards, guys. Those are just the base Bedards that are one per two to case. You know, doesn't mean we can't get any numbered cards. And the same thing for, like, Leo Carlson and all these other players, guys. They're definitely going to add up and add up, so you just never know, guys. Hunter Shepard. Victor Hedman. So, like I said, it may se seem like a very, per se, boring break to some people. But, like I said, it has a lot of value, guys. It really does. And this is the reason why people are ripping these and why 10s are going for hundreds of dollars rather than potentially their normal. $20, $30 twins and hobby boxes of series one were like only 120 bucks. Now they're 350. Um, Ronkov. So just my two cents there. Just for the people that think that this is kind of just, you know, a little plain old break. Nice. Michael Sergachev. So we definitely want to get a Bedard like this. <laughs> 18 out of 25. That'd be a very big one if we did. Be color match and all. Nice one there, though. That's for the Lightning going to Scott. Uvis for the Panthers. Yeah, and even from some of these guys, that their young guns are only 5 to 10 bucks. Some of these teams are as little as $30. So if you get about three or four of them, dude, pays for the spot. Matthew Piotras. Uh, Jet Greaves, Young Guns UD Canvas. 
for the Blue Jackets. And a Young Guns UD Cav is Yuri Patera. It's like a black and white Young Gun, too. For the uh, Vegas Golden Knights. Winner Tristan. All right, last box here, guys. Braden Chen, canvas. I just hit a Bedard out of 100. Yeah? No. Oh, you friggin' B. That's an exclusive, foe. Martin Paolo. Brady Shea. You know, that, that shoe would probably be like $5,000, dude. I'm not even kidding you. Jackson Lacombe. That's silly. Pavel. Man, we're getting everybody but Leo Carlson for the Ducks. Philip Forsberg canvas. Dazzlers, Kyle Connor, Bronco. Bobby McMahon, Canvas there, Owen Taze, or Devin Taze. All right, maybe one more young gun. Nikita Kucherov. And Artus Silvels for the Canucks. Alrighty, guys. Well, no true Bedard Young Gun in this first mixer, guys. We did get a couple Bedard inserts, though. And a checklist Bedard, Leo Carlson. But some cool stuff, guys. Like I said, obviously all from fresh cases, so all possibilities are still there. Uh, like I said, you just never know, guys, with this stuff. Um, but did get a number card there. Like I said, that Benson. A couple Bedard inserts. You know, and then that checklist. So we'll go left or right for all the checklists, including this one as well. And like I said, get into the next ones, guys. Good value in this. So let's get a new dice roll here. And I'm just going to go left or right. Roll it. Five and a two, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven times. Five and a two, seven, seven. That is going to go to the right side, which is going to be representing Lil Carlson and the Ducks. So everything that's on the right side is going to go to those teams there. So for this big one, Ducks got that, which is Nicholas. There you go, man.
so. So I'm going to just tag ducks on this one because this is a big one. So just so that way they know that this is going to go to the ducks. But the rest of them will be right side as well. And I'll probably just put it right here. Appreciate it, guys. Thank you.